If you hang shirts like me then keep the top 3 buttons closed as it will help in retaining the shape of the shirt. A simple change in habits can bring big differences in your lifestyle. Yes, it's true. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. During the summer vacations, I have inculcated few habits in the kitchen which has given me the efficiency to be productive throughout the week and i end up saving lots of efforts and time for myself which i know once the school reopens i will be needing a lot habit of emptying the dish rack earlier i never used to wipe the utensils which were in there i used to think that when in the evening i'll be emptying whole dish rack then i'll do it but this increased my efforts and gave me stress too if the dishes weren't dry till then so now i have started to apply this 1 minute rule that even if there is one dish i always wipe it and keep it at the place i give a wipe to the dish rack also and will wipe the sink area as in to keep it dry otherwise in no time the molding and the bacteria will start to build up roast few things in the beginning of the week this one habit i have started very recently i never pre plan to roast anything like if i have to make upma then i should keep the suji roasted or if i need to make peanut chutney then peanut should be roasted because of this habit my initial 10 15 minutes of cooking went into roasting which i have saved now Now I can make upma directly with the roasted suji and peanut chutney if the peanuts are roasted. This kind of pre planning will help you in fast cooking. Small tools are my besties in the kitchen. Initially after marriage I never invested in kitchen tools but later as the number of lunch boxes increased from 1 to 2 then 2 to 3 I realized the real value of these tools like I have this very basic chopper even if I have to chop half carrot and a small cabbage it will do it efficiently and really quickly These things do make your life easier. Second tool which I use a lot are these graters. Earlier I had that regular steel one, but once it broke, I got this one. This is a complete no mess product and comes with two blades. This one I used to grate carrot etc for uthpams. and the thin blade i use for grating cucumber or loki for raita or kofta it's super handy and very compact this grater i use for grating ginger to add in the cooking or for adding in the tea etc This is something we don't bother much about but waste so much time on it. We usually have one socket in the kitchen and multiple kitchen appliances. Like in the morning you have to use hot water also and hand blender also or any other appliances need to be used. We take out the plugs and put back another. This takes lots of crucial time in the rush hours in the morning. So I use this multiplex switch option Even if I have to use two appliances at a time, I don't have to remove the first switch and plug in the another. This is also saving a lot of time. How organized is your kitchen countertop? 
This plays a very important role in saving time in the kitchen. I only keep those things on my kitchen countertop which are very useful for me in the morning. On one side of cooking range I have my knives, chopping board and spices. On the other side of my cooking range I have a metal holder in which I keep all the oils and ghee and next to it I keep my kitchen roll. Everything can be easily managed if you have applied a practical approach in organizing your kitchen countertop. This is a complete game changer habit. Earlier I wasn't a person who was very much into planning. But since both the kids have started going to school and husband also takes small portions of food, I had to make separate things for breakfast and lunch. So it used to increase my stress level as in the morning nothing comes to mind, then it was like okay, let's make poha or let's make appe. Like this things get repeated very frequently. And who doesn't like to eat variety in food? So now I make a meal plan for whole week so that the grocery items are rotated and they are consumed in the right time. Keep some quick fixes handy. Once a packet is half used, I put clips like these on them. If clips aren't available, then the old methods are evergreen. Use a rubber band to secure the packet. I keep these both things together so as I can use whenever whatever the requirement is. Keep your kitchen clothes in a handy basket. Earlier I used to use paper towels to keep chapati and to wipe the dishes etc. But now I have moved to cotton cloths. I wash kitchen cloths and towels every day so once they are washed and dried I keep them in this basket. I keep them in different sections for the clothes that are used to wipe the utensils, kitchen towels and cotton cloths which are used to wrap chapatis in casserole. Grocery planning. The bigger this word sounds, similar are the powers it holds. It plays a really vital role in our Indian kitchens. Earlier I didn't used to plan at all. It was like okay going to the market, I think dal is finished, let's buy 1 kg of dal, half kg of something else and like this used to buy few other items randomly. This increases the number of items in kitchen and then store the extra of these some things we block our freezers and also money which we now cannot adjust anywhere else. So if you know the consumption of particular item in your household then this is the best thing to do. If you are refilling something then you should be knowing the expiry date of that item and don't end up buying more of it before it is consumed. We all know that adding cold water in the cooking food slows down the cooking process. When I start cooking, I always switch on the heat mode in the water dispenser. It hardly takes 2-3 minutes to get hot water. If you have electric kettle, switch it on before start cooking. Or just put a saucepan full of water on the gas. By the time you will be needing water for your cooking, it will be ready to use. This one is definitely a blessing in disguise. Since the time I have started to put a timer for my kitchen work, my brain automatically works on an autopilot mode. Earlier the things which used to take me 30-40 minutes to do, I can now finish them in lesser time. As my brain and my hands start catching up to that speed. And since we have done the pre-preps, have efficient tools at hand, countertop is functional, then there is no way we cannot save time in the kitchen. 
I have to make paneer sabzi for dinner and it will be ready in no time. I have taken some oil in the kadai along with some butter, added cumin seeds, green cardamom, cinnamon stick and bay leaves. Then I have added sliced tomatoes to it and a handful of cashews. Along with some basic masalas like salt, haldi, red chilli powder, coriander powder. Cover it and cook till it is soft. Then let this cool down completely. Now put on your multitasking cape. Till the time this is getting cooled, I can knead the dough or maybe empty the dish rack or can load the dishwasher. The idea is to utilize the time to the maximum you can. And this multitasking at this time will definitely help you a lot in the kitchen. Now once the tomatoes are cooled, remove the bay leaf and cinnamon stick. And grind these tomatoes to a fine paste along with some water. Now add kasuri methi, little sugar and butter if you want. Cook it for not more than 3 to 4 minutes. In the end, add paneer pieces and lots of fresh coriander. A very yummy no onion no garlic paneer sabzi is ready. I feel when we love our kitchen, these few advanced changes bring good and positive point of views in life. On this note, I'll sign off. Before you leave, do consider subscribing to the channel. Follow me on Instagram for some daily and fun life updates. I'll see you very soon with another one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.